Hello, English Journal readers. Welcome to the April edition of Ask Kimberly. This month, we have one crazy reader who asks, I'm assigned to go overseas on a business trip next week, but my English isn't good enough. How can I be ready in one week? Please help. Please help? One week? Wow, that's not much time. Okay, but don't worry. I have some advice that I think can help you even in as short as one week. First of all, don't worry about good enough English. Bad English is good enough. In fact, many people say English is the global business language. But one famous CEO said the business language in our company is bad English. Don't be ashamed of making mistakes. Guess what? I am a native English speaker and even I make mistakes. And although over 1 billion people use English around the world, only 25% of us are native English speakers. So good news, you are in the majority. Now here is one of my pieces of advice, most important, make mistakes. The path to progress is paved with many mistakes. When you're speaking and you make a mistake, that's a sign that you're going to learn something. If you want to make a really big mistake, here's a mistake many people make. Not speaking English at all until they can speak it perfectly. That is the biggest mistake that I find in my Japanese colleagues. And let me tell you, mistake making is also common in native English speakers. In America, I often make small mistakes in my language or my grammar. And if any of my friends corrected my English, I would think they were terribly rude. Nobody cares, to be honest. If anybody is that picky that they care about your perfect English and they correct your mistakes, I would consider them kind of a jerk. So don't worry, make mistakes, fail forward in the direction of improvement. Here's another important thing to keep in mind. English is not the same as communication. Communication is understanding each other. The words are just a small part. For example, see, make this symbol with your hand in America. It means okay, Japanese, money, and Russia, I think it means zero. And if you go to South America, Brazil, don't do it because it means something terrible. Now, please put this on your chin. I go, your chin. Many of you probably put it on your cheek because my words are just a small part of the meaning, my body language. And you're watching me, it's communicating much more strongly than my words. How about facial expression, tone of voice? What if I say, well, I'm excited to be communicating with you in the English Journal. Of course you don't believe me. Tone of voice, I say, I'm excited to be talking to you with English Journal, Ask Kimberly, April edition. Awesome, woo! That is a communication of meaning that you cannot get with only words. So focus more on expression, face, eye contact, body language, tone of voice. Smile goes a long way. Now, keep in mind also, communication can be frustrating. Many of my friends are frustrated when they can't explain their ideas using English. Guess what? I experienced the same thing with my husband. He is a native English speaker. He frequently cannot understand my meaning. Just because you're frustrated doesn't mean it's an English problem. It could be. It's just difficult for human beings to understand each other. Don't worry. You're normal. Now, if you only have one week and you really do need maybe better English for your business trip, I have a solution for you. Hire an interpreter. Take a friend with you or a colleague who can speak better English. If it's really that important, turn a problem into an expense by paying for the help that you need. It's only money. Tell your boss. 
Don't be ashamed. Leaders ask for help. Do you want to go on this business trip? Waste your time, other people's time, waste that money? Absolutely not. So you can go and say, look, this is important. English is going to be important. Here's the budget I need and the help I need to do a great job. And see if you can get the support that you need to be successful. Now, keep in mind, one billion speakers of English on the planet, most of them are non-native. You're in the majority. In my opinion, native English speakers must change. Please ask us to slow down. Ask us to pause. Tell us, don't use slang. Don't use idioms. Use simple sentences, simple words, simple grammar. You're in the majority. We have to change too. Good luck, be bold, fail forward, and have a great trip.